I'm gonna say that uh, Boo Boo Andre just got exposed. You know, uh, the guy wasn't really. He was kind of awkward. Um, I think that. Mm, I think that Boo Boo probably did enough to win the fight, but um. It was close. It could have went a draw. It could have been either way. Um, I don't think he did enough work. Or maybe he got tired. People talking about giving him excuses like jet lag and all that stuff. But um, I thought being in Germany, they would at least make it a draw. I thought they were going to give it to the other guy. The other guy came on strong in the second half of the fight. Um... I think that either one of the Charlo brothers beats Andre. I think Laura beats Andre. You know, they kind of touted Andre to be some big, uh, big star at 154. I mean, he can beat a lot of people at 154. He can't beat none of the top dogs. He definitely can't beat Canelo if Canelo decides to ever have a fight at 154 again. Uh, he better do something different next time he come out. Because if he has another close fight like that one, it ain't going to be, um, it ain't going to be all cupcakes. Yeah, I'm interested to see, um, what happens in this, uh, Curtis Stevens, uh, and David Lemieux, Lemieux fight tonight. La ha ha ha. Yeah. Um, but uh, that's all I got to say. And yeah, dude's bringing it. He really didn't hit. Yeah, he did kind of. He hit Andre with some solid stuff at the end. But um, yeah, we'll see uh, what's in the future for Andre. Andrade, however you say his name. Um, Everybody can say boo-boo, but we'll see what happens at 154. All right, y'all have a uh, good rest of the weekend. I might be back on today. Holla.